हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज जे कीर्ति ऑफ थर्ड बी ए इंग्लिश लिटरेचर फ्रॉम महालक्ष्मी वुमेन्स कॉलेज ऑफ आर्ट्स एंड साइंस आई एम हियर टू रिव्यू द बुक क्रूसिबल रिटर्न बाय आर्थर मिलर इन द प्यूरिटन टाउन ऑफ सेलम मसाचिटीज इन 1962 द टाउन मिनिस्टर रेवरेंट पैरिस डिस्कवर्स हिज डॉटर बेटी नीस एबिगेल एंड अदर गर्ल्स डांसिंग इन द फॉरेस्ट विद हिज स्लेव टिटुबा Betty faints in the fright at being discovered and will not wake. Rumors of witchcraft spread through the town and a crowd gathers at Paris house. While Paris nervous about his reputation, questions Abigail about what the girls were doing in the forest. Abigail says they were just dancing, though it soon comes out that Tituba was trying to conjure dead spirits. Paris runs off to calm the crowd and a local farmer named John Proctor winds up alone with Abigail. While Abigail was a servant in the Proctor household, she and Proctor had an affair. Abigail tells Proctor that there was no witchcraft and insists Proctor still loves her. Proctor guilt-ridden over the affair tells her it's over. As the crowd downstairs begins to sing a hymn, Betty starts screaming at Paris. Thomas Putnam and Anne Putnam, Rebecca Nurse and Gail Scorey come running into the room. An argument about whether witchcraft led to Betty condition soon transforms into an argument about other local political issues. Just then, Reverend Hale, a noted investigator of witchcraft, arrives and Proctor, Rebecca Nurse and Gail Scorey leave. Under threat of punishment if she refuses to confess Tituba breaks down and admits she had commended with the devil she begins to name other witches in the town Abigail seeing that she'll be punished unless she joins Tituba in naming names leaps up and begins to name more witches Betty wakes and joins him 8 days later Proctor and his wife Elizabeth discusses the many people who have been charged with witchcraft by a court presided over by the deputy governor of the province they learn from the servant Mary Warren one of the girls accusing people in the town of witchcraft that Elizabeth is herself accused Elizabeth wants Proctor to expose Abigail as a fraud but she suspects Proctor may still have the feelings for the girl As Proctor angrily denies it, Hale arrives to investigate the Proctors. He is soon followed by Gail Scorey and Frances Nurse, whose wives have been accused of witchcraft and imprisoned. Moments later, the authorities come and take away Elizabeth. Once they are alone, Proctor demands that Mary expose the other girls as frauds and promises to confront Abigail if he must. Proctor brings Mary to court to expose the accusations as lies. The girls led by Abigail deny the charge. Proctor reveals his affair with Abigail to show that she is dishonest. To test Proctor's claim, Deputy Governor Danforth calls out Elizabeth, who Proctor says will never lie. But when asked if Proctor had an affair with Abigail, Elizabeth denies it to protect her husband's honor. Abigail and other girls seize the moment to pretend Mary is attacking them with her spirit. Mary breaks under the strain and joins them. Denouncing Proctor as an ally of the devil, Danforth orders Proctor's arrest. Hale, who now believes Proctor, denounces the actions of the court. The witch trials cause anger and riots in nearby towns. A few days before Proctor and many others are scheduled to hang, Abigail steals money from Paris and vanishes. Paris and Hale try to get the people convicted of the witchcraft to confess in order to save their lives because Danforth refuses to stop or postpone the executions saying it would not be fair to those already hanged but Danforth does allow Elizabeth who's pregnant and therefore safe from hanging to talk to Proctor after speaking with his wife Proctor agrees to confess but refuses to incriminate anyone other than himself Once he signs his confession he refuses to hand it over his name is all he has left he says and he won't ruin it by signing lies danforth says that if proctor is not honestly confessing then he would not be accepted the confession proctor tears up the statement paris and hale are honestuck as proctor goes to the gallows but elizabeth says he has gotten his goodness back i l- hope you like this video thank you for watching